soil. Wow. If you follow the yellow arrows, you will go through the collection by series. Perfect. And, uh, we do encourage you to, if you like, to take as many pictures as you like. Thank you. And wow. I'm going to tell you all these to make sure. Yeah. So this one was the first one sold in the U.S., right? FJ25? Uh, I got you. Oh, it does say it right there. Right. Awesome. We actually, I'm sure it's down there somewhere. We have a 1979 in our showroom, which is a month younger than me. It's kind of weird. You got it. Single owner or donation or here on loan or. All right, Jack. I'm gonna pass in front of you, so I can keep a good pace here. Wow. Patina on this guy. Yep, my nephew in the background counting all the FJ cruisers. <laughs> it's over a hundred, buddy. <laughs> it's very cool, guys. I'm clearly gonna keep the my talking to a minimal because <laughs> let's face it, I am no I am no expert. Oh my God, the, the, some of these are like so clean and they're, these are older than me for sure. Wow, that's amazing. So we're clearly, as you guys can tell, going by chronological order here. Um, I really dig this, <laughs> this is so cool. I would drive that just like that. Very cool. Yeah, we're approaching the one that we have sitting in our showroom. And oh, oh, it's actually probably this guy. Wow. This whole time I thought it was going in chronological order. That's all right. We'll go back to it. Wow. <laughs> There's the money shot right there. Huh? Feast your eyes. That's a diesel one. See what they say here. Very cool. Uh, so it's a four cylinder with 84 horsepower. Wow. Very cool. There's another diesel. Oh my. Yeah. See, South America. Most of these were sold with a diesel. In the rest of the world for some reason not as much in the u.s but i'm sure somebody's going to correct me on that one all right i'm going back in time a little bit 1963s not a 78 i really love this uh logo a lot of you probably are aware that the fg cruiser logo was based off of this look and even the headlights there's another diesel with this beautiful hinge. Look at the paint work on this car. This one looks like mustard. If you, if you notice some of these, man, diesel, which is really cool. Still the four cylinder. Wow. How many of you would uh, die to get one of these? Yeah. So it's a short bed. FJ 45, 1963. Uh, I, I, you know what? I don't even know. I, I think they might. Not as new, obviously. 
I think you have to source them out. This one needs a little bit of restoration. But I'm not going too fast for you guys. <clears throat> wow. This thing's all decked out. All right, Tucker, what do you think about this Land Cruiser? This Tell me all about it. This one? Yes. Uh, Come on, YouTube superstar. It looks like you can sleep in it in here. See that? Kids got the good idea. Okay. Actually, that's the wrong side, buddy. The steering wheel is on the other side. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> good job. All right. As you can see, yeah, like the color on this one, that's nice. Oh, this one says wagon on the side, turbo wagon, turbo wagon, steering wheel on the other side, once again, 1986, Japanese market only, very cool, look at this one, it's a brand new. So again, Japanese. All right, I'm gonna pass. There we go. Yeah, very cool. So a lot of these were important, imported. As you can see, they're all right-hand drive. Right-hand drive. This one's got the mirrors on the fenders. That's really cool. Again, <laughs> diesel, that's cool. Although this is a six-cylinder. With 103. Oh, how beautiful are those graphics? Look at that. If you guys can see that. That's really cool. VX. All right. Here we go. We got one that's left hand drive. North America. 1987. Six cylinder. A four speed manual. I might have seen one of these at the dealer before. They're becoming rare though. Really love what they do with the graphics. You guys seen this? Crazy paint job on this one. 1978. Two tone. Very cool. Commercial of sorts. Yeah, we'll do a quick sweep here. <laughs> We're giving uh, double mirrors on this one. We're giving Caleb ideas, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, this is, this is a pickup. Right? I wonder if you can even find some of these parts anywhere. really neat spring loaded of course got your snorkel look at that that would fetch a pretty penny huh that's so crazy with these mirrors on the on the fenders but it also has the mirrors on the side there interesting 
Oh my, look at the size of this thing. It says, what is that, 4 5? Yeah. Oops, who's a 4.5? So this guy is a 1993, sold for the South American market. It has a six cylinder gasoline engine. Very cool. <laughs> Look at that. And he thought it was only Volkswagens, huh? The roof on this guy goes up. Really cool. Guess he could live in this one, huh? This one to me is one of the best ones out here, although there's still more to see, guys. But which one of you wouldn't pick this one up? Look at this thing. This thing looks cool, just like so. And most importantly, I bet you this frame is clean as can be. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Oh, wow. What is this? We got a Hummer in a Land Cruising Museum. Something doesn't add up. Oh, that's because it's not a Hummer. It's called a Mega Cruiser. Holy crap. Okay. Let's see. What do we got here? So this is one of 149 with a big, big four cylinder diesel. Wow. That is pretty wild. This thing is ridiculously big. Wow, this looks like a Hummer to me, but it's not a Hummer. It's a Land Cruiser. Yeah. Definitely something for everyone, guys. Here's something we're a little more familiar with. Did a review on this one. You guys can find the link on the uh, description below. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Where is this supposed to be? A cab? Taxi? Looks like a taxi. Uh, land course Prado. Prado? Yeah, that's how they're known. 105. Yeah, 50. 150, yeah. It's 2012 model. You like the yellow? I would go with blue on that one. Yeah. Wow, it's amazing. A lot of these are right-hand drive. You would never think these cars are here in the U.S. Look at this thing. This is like my favorite body style right here. Or this one. Although, here we go again with the mirror <laughs> and the fender. That is strange. I'll never get used to that. Fruity color. Now the diesel. Boy, there's a Land Cruiser here for everyone. Turbo. This thing over here almost looks like a little Suzuki thing. Can't remember the name. Oh my, what is going on here? Ah, just look at that. FJ Cruiser, I didn't even notice. Buried in the middle of all these Land Cruisers. I bet you this thing's got like no miles on it. Did you notice? It's an FJ Cruiser. 
Just sitting here. Make a comeback. Like a different, a different new version. Wow. Yep, and then there's this. Oh, this was lost in uh, California fires of 2018. Wow. Well, somehow still has its characteristic shape. And now it lives here forever. And now we have a fleet of fire trucks, fire vehicles of all sorts. the colors on this thing. What is the story behind these, uh, these mirrors? What is that? This is a custom. It was probably uh, either, I think it was either an ambulance or a fire truck. I can't recall. Oh. I'm sorry to say I'm not the resident expert here. That's all right. And I was only started a couple weeks ago. Oh. But I do know he's lovingly called Woodstock. Woodstock. There you go. Well, Woodstock to me is one of the top three in here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's right hand drive, like a lot of them. That's a really cool. Let's take a look inside Woodstock. Not even 19,000 kilometers. Very cool. Beautiful, beautiful example. Diesel.